So hello and welcome you all to sale to MDS Dental Academy. Myself, Dr. Malay Triyadi, I'm a pediatric dentist and assistant professor in College of Dental Sciences. So friends, now today we learn about orthodontics, but in little bit different and innovative way. So in this video, we'll talk about the high effects and the very important MCQ of orthodontics. And it is purely from profit and graver. So it is very important for your NEET exam, AIMS exam, PJ exam and government exams. So we'll see one by one. So first point that is which side of the face is usually larger at birth. It is the left side. Then condylar cartilage is which type of cartilage? It is the secondary cartilage. Which is the best form of motivation in orthodontic patient? It is the internal motivation. Then how many swallows per day in an individual it is around 800 swallow remember when you are sitting idle you swallow one time in a minute and whenever you are eating you swallow around nine times in a minute remember newborn infants are obligatory nasal breathers then my dear friends we know the class one class two class three malocclusion but now class four malocclusion it is class two on one side and class 3 on other side then about the subdivision we know class 2 d1 and d2 so what is subdivision it means there is class 1 on one side and class 2 on another side what is class 3 subdivision that is class 1 on one side and class 3 on another side then what is Habsburg jaw it is the prognathic mandible then what is the vogel jessip it is the retarded mandibular growth due to ankylosis of tmg it is seen mostly due to developmental disturbances then what is the ratio of upper face height to lower face it is around 45 is to 55 who has given the counterpart analysis and low has given the counterpart analysis then what is the rate of bone resorption when you apply the orthodontic force it is around 10 to 15 micrometer per day and bone deposition it is around 30 micrometer per day then what is the onset of bone resorption after force application within 12 hours and bone deposition within 30 hours then my friend few conversion it is very important because in exam sometimes they ask question in pound and you have to convert in grams so you should know properly like for example for a rapid maxillary expansion uh, it exhibit the force of 20 to 30 pounds so if they ask in the examination you should convert it properly so 1 ounce is equal to 28.6 gram, 1 pound equals to 453.9 grams, 1 inch is equal to 2.54 grams. See the Baker's anchorage is the example of reciprocal anchorage in that it is the intermaxillary anchorage. For example you can see the class 2 malocclusion correction. The elastics are worn from lower molars to upper anterior and for class 3 malocclusion correction the elastics are worn from upper molar to lower anteriors. Remember, the center of resistance is a fixed point and center of rotation is variable point. Then we have the soldering temperature. It is less than 450 degrees Celsius, whereas the brazing temperature is more than 450 degrees Celsius. Remember the short label bow was designed by Holley and arrowhead class was designed by Squats. The removal appliance will exert intermittent type of force. Remember the angle of the arrowhead clasp is around 45 degree. Then the another name for the lip bumper is Danholz appliance. Host appliance is a rigid fixed functional appliance used for class 2 correction. The Clohane face bow is also used for skeletal class 2 malocclusion. Then delayed face mask is used for treatment of maxillary deficiency. And headgear is also an example of intermittent type of force. Then the cord helix was introduced by Ricketts. The cord helix used for skeletal expansion in children. Then there comes the box elastics used for open bed correction. Then comes the triangular and settling elastic. It is used for occlusal settling. And the term lingual orthodontics was coined by Kerr. Bruxism is also known as strader dentium. Oncophagy is also called as nail biting. Remember, the muscles are called as living orthodontics by Rogers. If there is 
short face or we can also tell it as hypo divergent face it means the mandibular plane angle is less than 20 degree if the face is long face or hyper divergent it means the mandibular plane angle is more than 20 degrees now remember the orthodontic treatment should be commenced six months after your periodontal therapy and the corrected anterior tooth cross bite is example of self-retaining malocclusion so friend that was the few high effects from the profit engraver regarding orthodontics see you soon with the high effects of the other subject so you can go for the quick revision within a five minutes for your subject and you can prepare better for your exam thank you all and take care